Florence Pugh is the definition of an up-and-comer. She might be a Hollywood newcomer, but chances are she's had more career and financial success than anyone you know. Pugh was included in Forbes magazine's annual 30 Under 30 list in 2019 and Time's Next 100 in 2021. Pugh's acting profession remains the main source of income, but the actress also garners big from endorsements. Florence Pugh has an impressive list of credits and an impressive bank account to match. She already has more money than most people make in their entire lives. As of 2021, according to celebrities, net worth, Florence Pugh's net worth is estimated to be $1.4 million. Her acting profession has contributed to her entire net worth. She makes an estimated half million dollars a year from high-priced endorsements and partnerships. What exactly does Pugh spend all that money on anyway? Well, apparently not a lot. Pugh might be comfortable now, but money was definitely an issue for the actor when she first started. So much so, in fact, that while filming Midsummer, Pugh constantly worried about how much she was spending. I remember worrying about spending money on weekly massages to zone out, but as my co-star Jack Rayner said to me, Flo, you're literally in hippie hell every single day. I think you deserve some nice calm time. Pugh told Glamour, I was like, true thing. Many of us non-famous folks have been conditioned to believe our favorite celebrities spend any downtime they may have in their lavish, luxurious homes. However, that's not exactly the case for Florence Pugh. An interview Pugh gave to The Guardian, which was published in October 2018, provided a behind-the-scenes look at the actress's busy schedule. At the time of the interview, Pugh was in Budapest filming the horror flick Midsummer, which came a year after she filmed King Lear. Before Midsummer, Pugh had traveled to Scotland to film the Netflix movie Outlaw King, and as noted in the interview, Pugh was planning at that time to fly to Boston in just a few months to begin work on Greta Gerwig's adaptation of Little Women. With such a jam-packed schedule, how does Pugh ever find the time to relax and unwind at home? Well, according to the actress herself, she doesn't. I don't have a home, Pugh told The Guardian. She continued, With the life I've been lucky enough to live, in the last two years I've had to live out of the bags. But now, Florence Pugh owns a beautiful home in Los Angeles, California. She recently bought this magnificent Los Angeles property with her boyfriend Zach Braff and now lives there with him. This lovely residence, though, has five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a powder room. Not to mention the breathtaking views of the hills and ocean, a swimming pool in the garden, and a cozy home theater. Furthermore, before acquiring the property with Zach, she lived in a three-bedroom, two-bathroom condo in California. She's thought to have sold this home before relocating to her current residence. Pugh is a car aficionado who has amassed a sizable collection of automobiles. Pugh, the rising star first and foremost, owns a classic 1962 Chevrolet Corvette. In addition, the the current market value of this antique automobile is estimated to be between $10,000 and $15,000. She's also gotten her hands on one of the most expensive cars, an Audi R8 V10, which starts at $133,000 and can go up depending on the bespoke design. Despite this, the vehicle is powered by a throaty V10 engine that delivers lightning-fast acceleration. The star was seen gearing up for a driving scene in Palm Springs as she sat behind the wheel of a vintage convertible. Looking glamorous for filming, the midsummer actress was seen with her whistle speed blonde hair down in a spaghetti strap dress as she got into character. Some Hollywood magic in the making, the silver car was trapped in the process trailer to simulate her driving. She flashed her bronzed desert skin from shooting many hours in the sun. The girlfriend of Zach Braff looked at ease as she settled into her role as Alice, an unhappy housewife who begins to lose her sanity when she suspects her husband is hiding a dark secret. The production has gained a lot of attention in recent weeks after it was revealed that Wilde has embarked on a new romance with star Harry Styles who plays Pew's husband in the film. The two were seen making a public appearance at Styles manager Jeff Azoff's wedding just months after she and former partner Jason Sudeikis announced they were going their separate ways. While Florence was always slated to star in the film, Styles replaced Shia LaBeouf, who was fired by Wilde, due to what she deemed a no-a-holes policy on set. In a recent conversation with Promising Young Women director Emerald Fennell for Variety's Director on Director series, Wilde said the no-a-holes policy puts everyone on the same level, as it was revealed months prior that she fired LaBeouf after after he exhibited poor behavior on set. Wilde also gushed over Florence's professionalism, saying she always comes to set on time and is ready to turn it on at a moment's notice, praising her for being all-around incredible to work with. At the moment, Brav has a higher net worth compared to Pew. That said, it is likely the Pews would go up significantly in the coming years. For starters, it seems the Oscar nominee has a bright future in the MCU. Aside from starring in the current Hawkeye series on Disney+, Plus, it is believed the Pew will star in the comic universe's future movies. And just like Brav, Pew has taken up producing too. In fact, she currently serves as a producer on two of her upcoming films. What is your opinion about the millionaire lifestyle of Florence Pugh? This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Bye!